number four. Uh, number one, it is required that combustion, ventilation, and dilution air be calculated to assure proper air volume supplied to the appliance. It's fairly obvious that's going to be true. Number two, when a barometric draft regulator is required, it shall be installed in the same room as the appliance. That is true, too. Gas furnaces or gas appliances can have a barometric draft regulator or they can have a draft hood if they're natural draft appliances. But they do have to be in this, both of them have to be in the same room as the appliance. Number three, operation of exhaust fans, clothes dryers, and fireplaces shall be considered when providing combustion air requirements. That, of course, is true. This is one of the issues that a lot of people uh, uh, don't really consider. Uh, some folks will put very large exhaust fans in for whatever reason, and it'll literally suck the fire right out of the appliances. So you have to take all those things into account, so it's true. Number four. A confined space shall require two permanent openings, one within 12 inches of the floor, and the weather within 12 inches of the ceiling. That is true. Five, when communicating directly with the outdoors or by means of vertical ducts, air for combustion shall be one square inch per 2,000 BTU input per opening. That's incorrect. That's actually 4,000. The key here is vertical ducts or uh, directly communicating directly with the outdoors. There's just a grill on the wall that goes straight outside. Um, that is going to be the lowest amount of square inches of area for the number of BTUs. Number six, again it's false, communicating directly the outdoors by means of horizontal ducts, air for combustion shall be one square inch per 4,000. That is actually 2,000. The idea there is horizontal is not going to move as much air as vertical ducts. Not going to provide as much ventilation. Number seven, sealed combustion appliances may be installed so that all air for combustion is derived from the outdoors and all flue gases are discharged to the outdoors. Well, yeah, that's true. Sealed combustion appliances such as 90% uh, residential furnaces well, uh, they can be installed so that all air combustion for combustion is comes from outside, and the flue gases can be dis are discharged the out outdoors. Okay, eight metal louvers and grills will have a 25% free area. Now that's false. Grills, depending on the materials they're made of, have different amounts, and there there are numbers made, given out by the factory which you, you would use if you have them, but in a general rule, metal louvers will have a 75% free area, and wood louvers will have a 25% free area. Okay. Nine, when using the one permanent opening, meth opening method for combustion air, the minimum size opening will be one square inch per 3,000 BTUs. Now that is correct for the one permanent opening. Ten. An appliance in a confined space taking all combustion air from inside the building shall have two openings, each with a free area of not less than 100 square inch. That's correct. Uh, there's a minimum free area. Regardless of the size of the uh, appliances, you can't have less than 100 square inches per opening. 11, all AGA listed appliances can be installed with no clearance to combustibles. Okay, AGA is not a guarantee of anything. Uh, there is a listing on all AGA appliances, and they can be installed with or according to their listing. If their listing is zero, they can be installed zero. If their listing is 12 inches, it can be installed with 12 inches, but not zero. 12. All 90% furnaces must use outside air for combustion. This is kind of an opinion thing for me. I think they all should because that was kind of the point of having these type of furnaces, but many of them will use inside air for combustion. But if you do, 
you will have to follow the rules for combustion and ventilation air. 13, piping used for seven inches water column may be tested at three PSI for 10 minutes on a 15 pound gauge. That is true. <clears throat> uh, we oftentimes 10, use 10 pounds for 15 minutes, but the National Fuel Gas Code does say that you can use three PSI. 14, LPG or propane delivered through appliance. It is 11 inches water column, a quarter inch or a quarter pound is natural gas. Seven inch of water column is also natural gas and 15 doesn't have anything to do with anything. So it's 11 inches water column. 15. When there's not enough air supplied for combustion air, what will be the result? A ruffled flame, incomplete combustion, CO2 production, and a green flame. Well, obviously ruffled is not going to make any difference. Uh, incomplete combustion is, that's why we put them in there to be sure our, our combustion is complete. So if there's not enough air, you would have incomplete combustion. CO2 production. CO2 is normal, uh, as a normal gas produced by combustion of uh, fuel gases. So uh, green flame, I don't know. Don't make any sense. Permits are used to provide funds for inspectors' vacations. And yeah, sometimes I believe that. But it is to provide an unbiased third party for work review. Okay, that's the answers for that silly thing. I will be doing some combustion air videos uh, to try to get you through the uh, combustion air requirements in the future.